people that said Chelsea's a finished club. You can suck on our big blue nuts. They said we're the billion pound ball jobs, but we're coming for the Premier League title. We shut all the rivals up today. Come on. Corbin Sanchez, my fucking goalkeeper, bro. <laughs> What a performance, you know, when are they gonna realize that they have to stop fearing us? It's been an hour and I'm already hearing, oh, it's only West Ham. I think these motherfuckers forget. Arsenal lost their last season. Manchester United lost their last season. The two bum buddy banter clubs. Man City played there two weeks ago and struggled. They barely won. They only won 2 1. When are they going to give him his flowers, man? He just keeps getting better and better. It was comparing him to bums like Havertz, Hoyland, Nunes. Put some respect on my guy. You just know we mean business when we've got Nkunku, Joao Felix, Pedro Neto all coming off the bench. Not to mention the Brazilian sensation Estevão Williams joining us next season. Soon they will realize that we, Chelsea, Need to be fed. <laughs> These mid table mandems told us it was the comeback season. They told us they were standing on business. I mean, to be fair, it is progress. Got penetrated by Crystal Palace 4 0 last season on some P. Diddy Meek Mill shit. Got a draw this time, so congratulations. But unfortunately for you guys, you see it 11th place. I mean, that ain't progress. You finished 8th last season. How was this? Banter club hyping up when their attack relies on Trashford, Garnacho, Ahmad, Hoyland, Zerski, Mount. I hear nothing but bums. The Kardashian family has less ass than that. They really gotta be the biggest banter club in the country. They've been suffering like this for about 10 years. <laughs> You know, this Arsenal team, like, they're good, but at the same time, they're fucking shit. Like, I don't expect you to be like Logan Paul's wife, just letting any ball enter the box and score. But, like, these motherfuckers are more defensive than a female playbook. You know, them ones, when they do something wrong, but they somehow flip it back on you. Like, they play like they have a vagina. Prime Mourinho and Prime Atletico Madrid didn't even defend that much. Like, have some balls, attack, go for the game. But no wonder they play the way they do. I mean, when you look at their attack, apart from Saka, the rest of the players are pretty mid. But I'm not surprised they've hardly won anything in the half a decade Arteta has been there. Because the way they play is as if they feel like they're inferior. Arsenal. Your chance to finally win the Premier League is now. And if you somehow don't win it again after Man City losing their most important player, you better come outside. And we won't let it go. We won't let you go. We will never get over it. Because your club is 21 years without a league title. 108 years without a Champions League. And that's your whole existence. Your chance is now. And if you somehow don't do it, Boy, we are going to be having some fun. But damn, Man City's Premier League win streak might be coming to an end. Who knows, maybe this is Chelsea's season. If we can stay consistent, we can win this Premier League title. Two weeks later. DJ Khaled. Scratch a million off my checklist three years ago. At two zeros to the one, I'm in a different mode. It's my life, do what I want, I be with different hoes. You know the pick and roll, I picked her up and sent her home. Rich, I'm strong, we get them in and get them gone. You know, Travi just got out, ain't have to put them on. We the ones who got the numbers to put the city on. It's the middle of the summer, I got a hoodie on. My demon time ain't nothing nice. I oh, great, the real Robert Sanchez is back. Timmy, Timmy. My little brother ain't even right, my sister, them doing all right. My cousin, them still serving life.
That was too good. Are they still sleeping on us? Now, like, seriously, are you still sleeping on us, motherfuckers? You better wake the fuck up. Because another week and another win. We are still cooking. But each week they took the piss out of our opponents saying they're easy games. Well, what are you going to say now? Because this is Brighton's first loss in the Premier League. We all know how good they are. They beat Manchester United. They drew with Arsenal. Oh, Palmer. What did Brighton do to you? This is harassment. This is leaving people more gobsmacked than that P. Diddy shit we've been reading. I don't care what you motherfuckers have to say. This is the best player in the Premier League right now. Do you want to find another player in the Prem that have matched these numbers since last season? Saka, Foden, Bellingham, even Musial, who I love, Verts. Get these guys nuts out your mouth and accept that this man is clear. We're coming for that title. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this is a serious level of a new low for Manchester United. Manchester United isn't even enough of a violation anymore for how bum cheeks these guys are. Like, how are you gonna let Tottenham, the guys we know to be serial bottle jobs, come to your home and clap your cheeks live on Super Sunday when the whole world is watching? We all know Tottenham are a pile of shit. Look how they play. They leave themselves wide open like an OF tar on some Lily Phillips shit. I mean, this guy's finished. Fancy a career change? Maybe acting. You'd play the role of Ratatouille pretty good. That was harsh. I mean, I'm sure Bruno probably pulled more than me. I'm back, Mega Mine. It breaks my heart to see it, but your time might be up. Off topic, but my gamers will understand this one. Does this guy's head shape look like he's been wearing a headset for 40 years? Liverpool. You jammy, jammy motherfuckers! You might be thinking, Kipper, what's wrong? Chelsea played Crystal Palace earlier in the season, and we drew 1-1. But you know what the problem is? They had one chance the whole game from a man called Eze from outside the box, and this guy puts it in the far corner. You would think the motherfucker has 99 shooting if you watched that game. Come back to this game, and that jammy turd had three chances against Liverpool, easier than the ones he scored against Chelsea. Motherfucker, are you serious? From what I thought to say, I know for sure these guys aren't in a title race. And Chelsea will finish above them. Yo, Rodri might be injured, but I don't think Man City are going down without a fight. Look a bit more shaky in the midfield, but they can still blitz teams with their attack. They can get to January, maybe three points from first place, and sign a number six like Kimmich or Zubamendi. They can still do it. That's very doable, considering these bums are meant to be their biggest title challenges. They looked horrible again today. <laughs> And we bottled the Premier League already! It felt like I was watching Arsenal, not the mighty Chels! We let our bum team take a piss on our dreams! Eight weeks into the season, and we're already lacking in the title race. Now we're at a massive disadvantage. Two points behind Liverpool. We have to beat them after the international break. But ain't no way Chelsea got dunked on by Wood! Are we an LGBT club? But in Kunku, how the fuck did you miss that? That's three points in the bag. He was right in front of the goal. That finish makes me look like I got world-class piss aim. I never get it on the toilet seat. But yo, you just had to aim it in the fucking corner and it's a goal. And Joel Felix, man, how the fuck did you miss that one? We should be two points from top. This is dropped points. If you think we're going down without a fight, you got another thing coming. We're only four points from first, baby. <laughs> This has been a long time coming. It's been kept real silent, you know, because we all know Arsenal fans have the average brain span of a toad. Off topic, but do dwarfs have smaller brains than, like, normal-sized humans? Because if they do, Arsenal fans have even smaller brains. But yeah, Arsenal have been absolutely awful all season, and they've been getting away with it. They've been getting lucky, but today, their luck ran out. You guys may not see it, but you soon will. Chelsea are in this title race, and tomorrow when we beat Liverpool, we will be above them. And you'll see how serious we really are. Honest, la, 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 la.
bitch! Enzo Maresco, what the fuck are you doing? We brought you here to win us the Premier League title, not stand on the sidelines while the team get back shots. You may as well go work for the hub. Enzo Maresco, you have that big ass peanut head. Your brain must be big as fuck. So why didn't you use it today? Deploy some tactics. Your head built like Mega Mind. I was expecting my manager to be the new Einstein. I was expecting the Tiki Taka and the, and the counter attacks and the park the bus. Maresca, man, I thought he was gonna win us the Premier League title. What the fuck is that? Now we're in sixth place. What are we in the Pochettino era still? Cole Palmer. Where the fuck was you today? The fate and hope of the Chelsea fans lies within you, and you ghosted. What the fuck? This motherfucker's on a P. Diddy against Brighton and disappeared the last two games. And guess what? We didn't win either of them. I think that tells you everything you need to know. We're Cole Palmer FC. Oh, I'm fuming. Palmer, you're supposed to be our new hazard. Games like this is where you need to turn up. You better wake the fuck up the next week because we got a title to chase. We're falling behind. I'll give him a four today. Robert Sanchez. Honestly, it feels like my head is about to explode anytime he gets near the ball. He plays like he got post nut clarity. Like he's so stupid. Like how many times did he nearly cost us today? We could have lost 4 1 because of him. We bought another keeper in the summer. Can't we play that guy? Minus 10,000. So last year I had to put up with Raheem Sterling's bullshit. Where, like, like, you know when he would go like this? Now it's Sancho. Like, what the fuck is this? This ain't ballerina twinkle toes! Guy was driving me crazy today! It is a sport where the men play, what is you doing? Nah, like, genuinely, what was he trying to do? Like, I just... Like, what, what is he doing? You're meant to be a South London roadman cage baller! If you played like that in the cages in Kennington, they would've run you out the ends! I can't, it's a minus 10,000 from me. It's good to have Reese James back, the best right back in the world. For someone that's not started a Prem game for a year, what a performance. Locked up everything that came down by his side, clear of Trent. It's a shame he was let down by Bozo defending him around him. We shouldn't have conceded any goals today, it was just stupid mistakes. James gets an eight. Tosin! This motherfucker tries walking around and defending like he has some Van Dyke aura. You're not that fuck, you're not that guy, bro. When in reality, the guy has a stoner brain. Like he's sleeping for Curtis Jones' goal. He, he could have stopped that. Then the bozo nearly got sent off because he thought him and Jota was at a diddy party together. Absolutely despicable. Minus 10,000. Hadawake was a threat all game. Sorry we couldn't get you the ball enough, but you showed that you're a potential world-class player that belongs at this level and you will become better than Saka one day. I'm giving him a seven. Nicholas Jackson, he's on the pathway to becoming the next drug, but what a goal. You get a seven as well. Caicedo done his job, class as always, and Lavia, a world-class player in the mother freaking making. I'm giving both sevens. Gusto seven. Colwell, why'd you have to have a nip slip? Now we're falling down the title race.